12 people in Woodway have been left without a home after a Saturday morning fire destroyed their condo building. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander has an update on the investigation and heard from one of the victims who escaped seconds before her home was destroyed. Lindsay tenants who lived at the Woodway condominiums building that caught fire Saturday morning are now left with nothing and the Woodway authorities are now working to figure out how this fire began and what they can do to help those who lost it all. Seeing all the flames go up um, just in the next room and all the black smoke and everything, it's, it's something that you couldn't even imagine. Kendra Grams and 11 of her neighbors were sleeping in their condo units just before 7 a.m. While sleeping, Graham smelled something burning. I thought maybe my mom was just burning popcorn or something. But it was something far more dangerous. My mom had installed a smoke alarm whenever she first moved in because there were none. So that smoke alarm went off and I smelled big gushes of smoke. I grabbed my daughter off the bed, I grabbed her diaper bag, and I screamed for my mom downstairs. I couldn't see anything. Um, whenever I had opened the door, the entire top part was already engulfed in flames. By that time, Woodway Police Chief Khalil L. Hollaby says the back part of her apartment building was engulfed in flames. The fire truck showed up and they began evacuation procedures, knocking on doors and, and getting that process started. It took around 30 minutes to, to, to get it out. One victim and a firefighter were taken to the hospital but are now released. The condominiums were built in the 70s, but Chief L. Hollaby says he doesn't know if that's related to the cause of the fire. I am very, very, very grateful that I'm still alive. Um, me and my daughter, my mom, like it could have gone way, way worse than it than it did. The Woodway PSD has a GoFundMe set up on the victim's behalf. Times like these, um, I can't imagine what they're going through, and it's so difficult for 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 us to imagine that, but I just don't want them to feel like they've been forgotten through the through the catastrophe. As of right now, authorities are working to get any information they can, but this is still an active investigation. In Woodway, Adriana Alexander, Six News. Adriana, thanks so much.